this came to light, I think, late last year or there about. It's called Chat GPT. And one way you can do it is you, you go to chat.openai.com, is um, a software created by OpenAI. So just go to chat.openai.com and you need to sign up if you to create a profile if you've not done that before. Once you've signed up and created a profile and you've verified your email and everything, you come to this page. Right? It brings you to this page automatically. There are short videos online. We'll be talking about how, to, how you can create content with this. And the content is cut across everything, right? It cuts across every topic every topic so like somebody said you want to write about health the person that spoke about health um can you give me a topic about health you would like to talk about i think that is Zodua also or is Zodua? high blood pressure high blood pressure right so i could simply come here you want to write on high blood pressure i could just do high blood pressure i could just put high blood pressure and click on enter and it's going to write something for me on its own on high blood pressure. You see that? So I'm generating contents in practically minutes or seconds that prior to this time, I have to crack my head to write about high blood pressure. Can you see that? Now, the, an advantage of this over other search engines like um, Google, Bing, or um, all the web and the likes, Let's, let's set the web here so that I see, have an example of what I'm saying. This is Bing. Bing will give you so many things that you have to go and be clicking on them one by one to read. Or perhaps if we go to Google, let's go to Google and see what Google will, will give us. Still high blood pressure, and I'm going to Google, and I'm clicking on it, right? I'll have to go and read all of these things and then begin to gather them together to write you write up, let's see another, another search engine. All the web, all the web search engine. So if I go to all the web search engine, for example, and I'm, I want to search, it's going to be giving me practically the same thing. Let's not waste time on, on search engines. So here, this is what chat GPT will do for you. It has written this content for you. Let's say you actually want to write a short book on high blood pressure. I want it to give you, you want to write a short blog, but you want it to be like, you know, like Dr. C said, it should be long. So you want it to break it in such a way that you have um, um, subtopics. I could even say, give me, Give me a short or um, give me a table of content for a small book on high blood pressure. Right? You want to write, I want you want to give you like maybe um, introduction. You see, give, is that giving introduction courses and risks and factors? These are things you can use to write your blog, right? It has given it to you. If you have other things you want to um, you want to add, let's say you know something and that thing is not part of the eight things it has written here, right? For example, it gave you symptoms and diagnosis, complication of high blood pressure. Maybe there's a particular topic that you know and you want to add. Let's say... Um, and hereditary, right? Or um, something that's on high blood pressure. Let's say link between um, high blood pressure and my parents, which is just another word for hereditary, right? <clears throat> oh, so it's telling me that it does. It doesn't have. Um, I can't give anything about my direct parents. That's because of my choice of, choice of word, my parents. I can rephrase this, I can re-edit it, but let's see what he wrote. As an AI language model, I do not have access to personal information or medical issues. However, now, which is the point I wanted, 
it is important to know that high blood pressure can have a genetic component, right? So you notice what I wrote here. I could say add genetic component to the table of content above. I remember it didn't have genetic component here. And it understands what I say when I say table of contents. It understands what I was talking. It's like a con I'm having a conversation. I mentioned table of content here. And in between, we had another topic. And then I say add table of content. Now it's going to try and see a way it can squeeze in table of content into this uh, uh, genetic um, relationship, rather, into that table of contents that I've put in so far. So you see here, it has added genetic component of high blood pressure. And number three before was symptoms and diagnosis, right? So it doesn't mean that you have to just take what chat GPT gives you. You could, if you have, if of course, if you're an expert or you know a bit about a particular topic, you could influence the way the AI will, will do that for you. So it's giving me that table of content again, but this time it has added um, genetic components of high blood pressure and it is it gives explanation. So let's say I now want to develop this into something I want to go and post. Right? Let's wait for it to, to finish. So let's say you want to write on health. You basically have enough things to write on. But say you don't have the time. You don't have the time to do all of this. It's even giving us the conclusion. You don't have all of the time to do this. So we now have nine points here as against eight previously, right? Because we modified the response. Let's say I want to actually develop you know, um, these topics one by one. For, this, for the sake of time, let's just quickly go to number seven. And I'm just picking number seven randomly. So the same thing I'm doing for number seven, I will assume you can do for number one to nine, right? I can say develop um, number seven in about 200 words, right? Again, the AI, we understand what number seven is all about. And number seven is talking about medication of high blood pressure. Instantly, it's starting on medication and it's breaking it, and it can put it in about 200 words for me, right? So here you can see that I can practically write, if you have, if you have 30 minutes of your time, you could write something every single day and then go, of course, what you should be writing on should be something that you have done your research on um, from PD research and every other um, tool we were given. Now it has written something for me on high blood pressure, talking about the uh, AC in, in beetles and the likes. If I wanted to increase this thing more, right? If I wanted to reduce, I can say, okay, um, reduce the words to 50, right? I want you to reduce what you just did now, reduce it to just 50 words as against 200. This AI will do exactly the same thing, right? It's very, very interesting. <clears throat> now it wrote in 200 words, it will summarize this and just make it in 50 words for us. So you can actually sit down and generate a blog. So you see bloggers, you see all those people doing write-up on MTN and some other things or whatever topic. Now you don't have to crack your head to do that. It has just summarized those 200 words into 50 words right before your very eyes. Now it gets interesting. You don't know anything about coding and we have our coding instructor here. Um, it, I, I doubt if you can do complex one, but let's say I wanted to um, write a code in Java to add five numbers and find the average. I don't know anything about coding. I know something about coding. I don't want to bug myself, right? It can actually write the code for me in Java, right? It will write it. And up here in this window, you can see the copy code. All I need to do is copy that code and paste somewhere. So this is it. It has written. If I say, okay, I don't want to write it in Fortran, write this in Fortran, right? I want you to put it for me in Fortran. It will basically write that same code 
in Fortran. You can write it in practically any language um, that exists best to my to my knowledge. Right. So you want to talk about forex trading, look at some of the things I've, I've done research on aliens on earth, biblical positive thinking, trading for prop firm, high blood pressure, right? Um, colorful children images, so many things you can you can write on, right? If you are looking for images, very colorful images to add to your write-up, right? So let's say I've, I've done a, a write-up on high blood pressure. I can tell it to give me suggest colorful or description, right? Say you don't know how to draw, but you can tell ChatGPT to write a description of a drawing for you. Suggest colorful images that will illustrate high blood pressure. Right? I could tell ChatGPT to do that for me. It's going, I want it to give, suggest colorful images. So he said, does it have the ability to create images? Of course I know. It can't create images here, but it can give us a cartoon drawing of a person with a red face and bulging veins to show the physical symptoms of high blood pressure, an image of a blood pressure monitor to cut off the device uh, or cough to show the device. These are suggestions of images. I don't want to go and pick an image from Google and then I subject myself of being liable of um, you know uh, taking somebody's um, work and and not perhaps. Um, and let me just put that as plagiarism or perhaps any other legal term you want to use. These are sample images, right? There are other AIs we can use. Again, I don't have the time to explain all of this, but I can come here and just pick the very first one, a cartoon drawing of a person with a red face, bulging veins to show if, to show physical symptoms of high blood pressure. I can pick this description right now, and I will go to... Meet Johnny is a very sweet one. Meet Johnny is a very sweet, all these are AI drawn pictures. Right, but I will not talk on Meet Johnny today. We'll come back another time. This is another one, image creator, IMG creator, right? I can come here and put that description. I want to draw, but I don't know how to draw. I want to create an image. That description from ChatGPT, I'll put it here and click on create. Right? And I click on create. It's going to generate a cartoon drawing of a person with a red face and bulging vein to show symptoms of high blood pressure. So. I'm using AI to practically generate this is a cartoon figure, right? Showing exactly what I want. I could go back to chat GPT and say, okay, I don't like that one. I can say an image of a blood pressure monitor, right? Remember again, I, I mentioned that uh, Mid Journey has better images, right? Now I am using text to create my drawings. I'm using text to create the drawings. And all of these things you are seeing, all these pictures you are seeing here are sample images that people have created. That is a close-up or studio color program of a dog wearing a Santa hat. Somebody created that, right? So here again are images. I can practically use this image and you can be very sure that no other person upon the face of the earth is using this. Or if they are, you guys won't be much. So I'm not stealing this from, from Google. I'm creating the image by the way I describe it. So anyway, so here's what I'm trying to say. We, there are many things we can do with this. So there's no reason why any of us here shouldn't be creating our own content, guys. No reason. So we can actually write, okay, write a blog post with title to symptoms of high blood pressure, right? So let's say, let's say Dr. C has done a search. And in the search online for what people look for, he found something as write a blog post. What he saw is symptoms of high blood pressure in adults. That is what he saw, right? So we now we are going to we are going to tell Chat GPT. I'll come here and click on new chat, and I'll tell Chat GPT to write a blog post with title "Symptoms of High Blood Pressure in Adults." 
I want the keyword to be symptoms of high blood pressure and of high blood pressure. I want the keyword density to be 8%. And I want the word count to be 1,000, right? And I'll click on enter or search, right? So it's going to give me a blog post. The title of the blog post is symptoms of high blood pressure. The keyword is symptoms of high blood pressure. So it will keep mentioning symptoms of high blood pressure as it keeps writing, right? And it, the, the keyword should come up at least 8%, and the word count should be like 1,000, right? So here it is, writing this. All you need is that time to go do the search of the keywords, and you already know what the density should look like. You can vary between 6 and 10%, depending on 10%, between 6 and whatever percent you want. You can tell it the number of words you want. And after writing, you can tell it to give you sample images or description of sample images. And then you can go to the two sites I gave, I gave us. I'll drop some uh, much later when um, the content writing class comes up. I'll drop some of those things. And then you can go and create your own content. So thank you, Dr. C. This is something somebody can actually just speak. But perhaps you are scared that, uh, are you sure that this thing is not going to show against me as if I pulverize it? You can, you can actually copy all of this. You can actually copy it up. Sorry, just a moment. You can actually copy this and go to some other, there are other websites you can go to. I think here is one, pregarismdetector.net. I can come here and paste what I just did now and press and and ask it to check if I can say check pargarism. Just click on it. It's going to check to see if this has been pargarized. So it's checking for me. So I know that I'm writing a completely unique document a complete unique, unique write-up. And nobody's going to come up later on and say you stole um, my write-up, right? So you can, you can do that. Of course, there are some other sites where even if you find the, if you find certain percentage uh, pergarism, you can click on make it unique like here, this point here, and it will, it will clean it up for you and make your write-up look very unique. You can claim ownership of that write-up 100%. So let's see, it's about 71%. Let's see if it has copied anything from anybody anywhere upon the face of the earth, so long as it's on, on the internet. So things are easier with AI. The issue is, are you willing to spend some time to learn it? Um, like I mentioned in the content writing introduction class, the instructor and some other persons I'm bringing to teach us content writing, they make about $1,500 to $2,000 every month and some traders sitting on their bum every day 32 days in a month are not making it so this was just pegarized um it just for around four percent and that's because we, we even made it one thousand words and look at high blood pressure also known as hypertension is a common condition that affects millions of adults in world worldwide that is the only thing you can find in any other write-up on the internet right that looks like it copied something very interesting it is 96% unique. You can take this anywhere, and this is your unique write-up. And we did all of this in less than two minutes. In less than two minutes. Dr. C, I want to stop here so that I will not go too far. We can always come back and, and talk about it. But the name of this app is called Chat GPT. Um, just go online or click on um, openai.com and go create a profile. And I'll be very happy if we can start generating content. So, so I know that I'm writing a completely unique document, a completely unique, unique write-up. And nobody's going to come up later on and say, you stole um, my write-up, 
right? So you can you can do that. Of course, there are some other sites where even if you find the if you find certain percentage uh, plagiarism, you can click on make it unique like here, this point here, and it will it will clean it up for you and make your write up look very unique. You can claim ownership of that write up hundred percent. So let's see, it's about seventy one percent. Let's see if it has copied anything from anybody anywhere upon the face of the earth so long as it's on, on the internet. So things are easier with AI. The issue is, are you willing to spend some time to learn it? Um, like I mentioned in the content writing introduction class, the instructor and some other persons I'm bringing to teach us content writing, they make about $1,500 to $2,000 every month. And some traders sitting on their bum every day 32 days in a month are not making it. So this was just plagiarized. Um, it just for, found 4%. And that's because we, we even made it 1,000 words. And look at high blood pressure, also known as hypertension, is a common condition that affects millions of adults in world, worldwide. That is the only thing you can find in any other write-up on the internet, right? That looks like it copied something. Very interesting. It is 96% unique. You can take this anywhere. And this is your unique write-up. And we did all of this in less than two minutes. In less than two minutes. Dr. C, I want to stop here so that I will not go too far. We can always come back and, and talk about it. But the name of this app is called Chat GPT. Um, just go online or click on um, openai.com and go create a profile. And I'll be very happy if we can start generating content. 